Could Elon Musk and NASA have defied the laws of physics with their latest development? It seems possible, considering NASA's advancements in creating a near-light speed engine that challenges the laws of physics. They have conceptualized an engine that can accelerate to 99% of the speed of light without the need for fuel. Although it may sound like a concept from a science fiction movie, it is indeed a real possibility. One of NASA's engineers is currently working on a similar project that holds the potential to defy the laws of physics. Many questions arise regarding the plans for these engines. What will be used as fuel if traditional propellant cannot be utilized? Will it be safe for humans to travel in a vehicle equipped with such a powerful thruster? Could this mean that fast space travel is already within our grasp? These are the questions on the minds of many individuals. In today's video, we will delve into these inquiries and more. It is crucial to watch until the end to avoid missing any valuable information. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and activate the notification feature. Let's begin, shall we? For centuries, humanity has harbored dreams of traversing the immense distances that separate us from distant extraterrestrial destinations. This desire emerged when we comprehended that each star twinkling in the night sky is akin to our own sun, possibly accompanied by its own solar system, planets, and even life forms. However, even the closest star is located over four light years away. While NASA's Juno mission achieved the highest speed ever recorded for a spacecraft built by humans, traveling at 74 kilometers per second, 46 miles per second, it would still take more than 4,000 years to reach the nearest star at that rate. Our inherent drive to explore and investigate every corner of space faces a significant obstacle, its vastness. Space is simply too immense. Even if we were to travel at the maximum achievable speed, it would still require years to reach our nearest star. Elon Musk established SpaceX, his private spaceflight company, with the visionary goal of enabling humanity to inhabit multiple planets. According to Musk, relocating humans to other worlds, particularly Mars, could potentially save our species from catastrophic events on Earth, such as a devastating asteroid impact. In 2016, he presented two possible paths for the future of humanity. The first option is to remain indefinitely on Earth, risking ultimate extinction. The second option involves becoming a space-faring civilization and a multi-planet species, which he believes is the preferable and necessary course of action. Musk has consistently expressed his aspiration to establish colonies on Mars, acknowledging that this endeavor would require a substantial number of people to achieve self-sufficiency. However, the current limitations of our technology and the laws of physics pose significant obstacles to space travel. Nevertheless, Advancements in various fields, including laser sails, nuclear propulsion, and the manipulation of antimatter or dark matter, hold the potential for revolutionary breakthroughs and appear to be within reach. Addressing another fundamental human desire, NASA engineer David Burns has dedicated his spare time to seeking solutions for significant challenges. He claims to have developed an engine named the Helical Engine, which can accelerate to 99% of the speed of light without requiring fuel. Burns has shared his findings on NASA's technical report server, though the engine has not yet undergone professional peer review. The concept relies on exploiting how mass may alter at relativistic speeds, approaching the velocity of light in a vacuum. The story surrounding this phenomenon has sparked curiosity reminiscent of the early days of the M-Drive, and it is understandable why. There have been reports suggesting that this engine might challenge the laws of physics. To provide some context, the M-Drive marked NASA's initial exploration into the concept of developing a fast and light propulsion system. So, what exactly is the M-Drive? It is a concept for a radio frequency resonant cavity thruster that was first introduced in 2001 by Roger Shire, a British chartered electrical engineer with extensive experience in the space and defense industries. According to claims, internally reflected microwaves generate thrust, seemingly defying the law of conservation of momentum and other fundamental principles. The media has even dubbed this device the impossible drive. Explanations for the potential workings of the M-Drive go beyond our current understanding of physics. Some speculate that it could be interacting with the vacuum energy of space or even quantum time, 
although the latter doesn't allow for any objects to push against it. Others propose that our perception of forward motion might be disrupted, or that it could involve entirely new physics altogether. However, the tests conducted on the M drive have not resulted in an official design, and none of the supposed inventors have provided a detailed explanation of its functioning as a thruster or the components involved. This lack of information makes it difficult to determine the true nature of this enigmatic device. In 2016, NASA's Advanced Propulsion Physics Laboratory reported observing a slight apparent thrust during one of their tests. However, this finding is yet to be confirmed, as subsequent research suggests that the recorded thrust was likely a measurement error caused by interactions with Earth's magnetic field or heat gradients. In March 2021, scientists from the Technical University of Dresden published three papers asserting that the observed push was merely a coincidence and resulted from external influences. Despite these claims, the helical engine remains intriguing, although it is unlikely to comply with the laws of physics in the near future. Despite facing skepticism from some, Burns believes his proposal is worth pursuing. When he says, I'm comfortable with throwing it out there, Burns means that he is willing to put forward his idea even if it doesn't ultimately work. He views it as an attempt worth making. To explain his concept, Burns depicts a box with a weight inside, suspended by a line and springs at each end. The weight bounces back and forth, causing the entire box to shake within a vacuum. The key point he emphasizes is the need for the system to remain static, similar to a stabilized GIF centered around the weight. In this scenario, the box would remain in the same overall position. However, if the wheat's mass increased in only one direction, it would generate a stronger push in that particular direction, resulting in thrust. According to the principles of physics, this concept should not be conceivable. The notion of momentum conservation asserts that an object's momentum remains constant unless acted upon by external forces. Additionally, Einstein's theory of special relativity states that objects gain mass as they approach the speed of light, which must be taken into account in particle accelerators. In reality, a simplified version of Burns' concept would involve replacing the ring with a circular particle accelerator. During one stroke, ions would be rapidly accelerated to relativistic speeds, and during the other stroke, they would be de-accelerated. However, Burns proposes that instead of using a box and rod, the particle accelerator should serve for both lateral and circular motion, shaping it like a helix. However, there is a relativistic issue in this case. According to the principles of special relativity, objects gain mass as their velocity approaches the speed of light. If we replace the weight with ions and the box with a loop, the ions may be capable of flowing faster at one end and slower at the other. In contrast, Burns' propulsion system is not a single closed loop. It is referred to as a helical engine because its structure resembles that of a stretched out spring. The engine accelerates ions in a circular path to relativistic speeds and then varies their velocity to induce a change in their mass to some extent. To generate thrust, the engine moves the ions back and forth along the travel direction, all while being confined within electric and magnetic fields. Burns mentioned that the engine has no moving parts, aside from ions traveling in a vacuum line. According to new scientists, the volute chamber, which is approximately 200 meters long and 12 meters in diameter, would need to be exceptionally large to produce one newton of thrust. This would require around 165 megawatts of energy, equivalent to the force needed to accelerate a kilogram of mass per second squared, comparable to the output of a power plant. However, the concept of propulsion-free vehicles, such as the helical engine, is not entirely new. In the late 1970s, an American inventor named Robert Cook developed an engine that purportedly converted centrifugal energy into linear motion. Then, in the early 2000s, a British inventor named Roger Shire proposed the M-Drive, suggesting that trapped microwaves could be transformed into thrust. However, neither of these ideas has been proven, and they are widely believed to be impossible due to violating fundamental laws of physics, specifically the conservation of momentum. Physicists from the Technical University of Dresden, who conducted tests on the M-Drive, argue that the helical engine is likely to face similar issues. They state that, to their knowledge, 
No inertial propulsion system has ever worked in a friction-free environment. One physicist explains that, unlike other proposals, the helical engine incorporates special relativity, which adds complexity to the situation. Unfortunately, the principle of action and reaction remains inescapable. Burns, on the other hand, maintains that a significant portion of the energy lost by the accelerator through heat and radiation can be captured. He also suggests methods for preserving momentum, such as utilizing the spin of propelled ions. He acknowledges that his concept has the potential to face the same level of skepticism as the M-drive and cold fusion, but he emphasizes the difficulty of developing something truly innovative and functional. As we can see, the field of science still has uncertainties. It is reasonable to be skeptical. However, considering the rapid advancement of aeronautical technology, it wouldn't be surprising if a faster-than-light-capable engine emerges in the future. Once that happens, our science fiction fantasies will be well on their way to becoming reality. We would like to hear your thoughts on Elon Musk and NASA's near-light speed engine that defies the laws of physics. Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more thought-provoking videos.